Scientists confirm matter can be both solid and liquid at the same time. It's unusual to make breakthroughs regarding the properties and state of matter, but recently, scientists have discovered a new state, referred to as a chain-melted state, that allows materials to be both solid and liquid at the same time. The matter in this state is stable and presents a bizarre new scientific discovery, pioneered by a team of researchers with the help of an artificial intelligence machine, National Geographic stated. Hernman and his colleagues turned to simulations using what's known as a neutral network, an artificial intelligence machine that learns how to predict behavior based on prior examples. After being trained on small groups of potassium atoms, the neural network learned quantum mechanics well enough to simulate collections containing tens of thousands of atoms. These simulations are what led to a fascinating discovery. The strangest part, this intriguing material, has been within our very own bodies this whole time. The discovery relates to the physical state of potassium atoms, first discovered in plant ashes. Potassium atoms are an alkali metal, an electrolyte that facilitates the functioning of the nervous system, helping us to move via muscle contractions. It also helps our cardiovascular system, keeping the heart pumping and delivering nutrients throughout the cells in our bodies. Under pressure and high temperatures, these potassium atoms undergo changes that led to this interesting new liquid-solid state. It is possible, but improbable, that this state could be found deep within the Earth, where pressure and temperatures are incredibly high. However, potassium is rarely found in pure enough form to facilitate this. There exist many places with high enough pressure and temperature within our universe for this chain-melted dual state to actually be quite common good examples being in the stars and planets we can observe through our night sky. Andreas Hernman of Edinburgh University, co-author, presented the study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. He stated, It's kind of strange. It would be like holding a sponge filled with water that starts dripping out, except the sponge is also made of water.